Hello, my name is Jameer Richmond Edwards, and today we'll create a mixed media portrait. Um, the materials that we'll be using, we have some older artworks that I found. Um, you can use an old drawing, an old painting that you've done. I have magazines, and I like to also incorporate hand-drawn elements. So I'm gonna walk you through the process and, you know, try to be as creative as possible. There really isn't a wrong way. Um, just, you know, go with the flow. All right, so typically when I start my collages, as I said, I like to draw, hand draw some elements. And this is a figure that I did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut her out. And as I cut her out, I'm gonna use her body as a template to outline or block out the background. And she's hairless and fabulous at the moment, but I do um, plan on adding hair and other details to her. Now, an adaption of this, this lesson is using photographs, magazine cutouts. You don't necessarily have to draw a figure yourself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to center her on this piece of red paper. And since I know that I want her here, I'm going to outline her. So this outline is going to essentially let me know um, how far as I begin gluing the different components on the paper, how far I can go. I don't want the magazine clippings to go where her face is going. So now for the background, um, I do have water and gel medium. If you don't have gel medium, you can use regular glue. And um, if I don't like my glue to be really thick, so you can dilute it with water. Um, Mod Podge is also an option. So any sort of adhesive, it will work. All right, so let's see. So here's one of the clippings that I did. I really love this blue. So I'm gonna just cut it out. Not really, you know, stress about it too much. Here's some of the pre-existing artwork that I'm using, which is pretty, pretty colorful and they're successful on their own, but I, I like to incorporate them. I want my, my paintings to have a lot of color, a lot of energy, um, a lot of movement. Um, let's go through the magazines. Now I told you that I would like to add some hair for her, but it doesn't have to be traditional hair. Um, as an artist, you can be as imaginative as, as you would like. So um, I like this image of, I don't know, is this squash growing? So maybe we can use the squash as her hair. Now, typically you wanna start with the background, but as I build up my composition, um, I like to place things to get an idea of, you know, how I want it to sit. In this painting, I included a drawn figure. You have the option to incorporate a drawn house, animals, cars, whatever you see, you know, whatever's in your imagination. Now I'm freestyling it. Um, there's, like I say, it's really no wrong, it's not a wrong way or right way to create it. You can use yarn for hair. You can use, I have buttons or beads here that you can incorporate. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a few more images that I would like to use for the background. I like this, this will work. I'm gonna start laying the my background down and you can take a brush, apply your adhesive of choice, and I'm gonna start with this blue right here. 
Now it's extending over the face area a little bit, but that's okay. That's, that's not a problem. I like to not only apply the adhesive underneath the paper, I like to paint on top of the paper as well to make sure that it doesn't lift up. I think I'm gonna add some more blue to this at the bottom to balance it out. I'm making a very abstract background. There's an option to be a little more detailed. You can build a house, you can build a field of flowers. Um, it's really, you know, you can use your imagination. I really want to encourage you to follow your intuition and what feels right in this process because when you follow your intuition, the paintings come out so much better. Really, as an artist, you're creating your own world. No one can really give you rules. So feel comfortable enough to explore and to make mistakes. Now, your, as you build your collage, it does not have to stay within a rectilinear space. Um, I actually prefer for my collages to extend beyond the edges. It just makes the compositions or the paintings uh, a lot more interesting. I'm really um, satisfied with how the surface is building up. And yeah, let me see if she's ready to go in. Okay, I think I like that. So I'm oftentimes, if I'm using colored paper or if I'm working on a colored canvas, I won't fill in everything. I'll leave some, some of the actual background. I like that. Alrighty, so now I can, now that I've cut out her top, now I can glue her on. So I'm, I'm going to put a generous amount of adhesive to the back of the drawing. All right, um, what's very useful is you can take a book, notepad, Get it nice and smooth. All right. All right, so now I have my figure glued to the background. I wanna build out her hair. So earlier I cut out some squash <laughs> that I wanted to use for her hair. And I want her hair to be very big, similar to mine's. Um, the really cool thing is you can give your figure whatever hair that you like, you know? So this is a start and what I want to do is I want to build it up some more. Um, I want to find some more images, some dark images for her hair. And this chocolate looks very appetizing, but it'll be really amazing for hair. I want to make her hair really crazy. Oh, yeah. Notice I am placing it in different positions to see exactly how I would like her hair to, to lay. Okay, I like this a lot, actually. Here's her shirt that I cut out. And I saw this really amazing 
necklace in the National Geographic that I would like to incorporate into the figure. I want as much detail as possible in my necklace, so I'm gonna really take my time to, to cut to make sure that it fits my girl. All right, there we go. Now I would like to give her some earrings. Um, I, I'm, I really, I really like this gold. It's, it's so beautiful. You can find so many jewels and goodies in Nature and National Geographic uh, magazines. And if you can't, if you don't find anything that you like, you can always draw it. I really like this. Now, I have these cool beads that I would like to incorporate in it. It can either go in her hair, so I'm trying to see. I think I want it in her hair. I want some texture added. So what I'll do is put a generous amount of gel medium and I'll stick my beads on. It will dry clear. And I am satisfied. This is a completed painting.